addition and substitution reactions. In this module, you will learn about the addition and substitution reactions of carbon compounds. Shown here are the molecules of two carbon compounds, methane and ethene. As you already know, methane is the simplest saturated carbon compound, whereas ethene is the simplest unsaturated carbon compound having carbon-carbon double bond. Let us see what happens when these two compounds are made to react with the same reactant, chlorine, under suitable conditions. Let's first check out the reaction of ethene with chlorine. The presence of the double bond makes ethene quite reactive. When we add chlorine to ethene in the presence of ferric chloride, the double bond of ethene breaks partially. The two carbon atoms, in turn, combine with one chlorine atom each, thereby completing their valency. The compound so formed is 1,2-dichloroethane and it is a saturated compound. Let's now check out the reaction of the compound methane with chlorine. When methane is made to react with chlorine in the presence of sunlight, one of its hydrogen atoms gets replaced by a chlorine atom. The product so formed is chloromethane. If the reaction is carried out with excess of chlorine and continuous exposure to sunlight, the chlorine atoms replace all the hydrogen atoms of methane one by one, giving rise to the products dichloromethane, chloroform and carbon tetrachloride. So you have seen how differently chlorine reacts with two carbon compounds, ethene and methane. In case of ethene, the chlorine atoms add to the carbon atoms after partial breaking of the double bond. Since this reaction involves the addition of new atoms, it is known as the addition reaction. Ethene is not the only unsaturated compound that undergoes the addition reaction but other unsaturated compounds also undergo the addition reaction under suitable conditions. These addition reactions of carbon compounds take place in the presence of some other compounds like ferric chloride as in case of addition reaction of ethene and chlorine. Compounds like ferric chloride do not undergo any permanent change in them but increase the rate of reaction. Such compounds are known as the catalyst. Some addition reactions of carbon compounds have industrial significance also. One such addition reaction is hydrogenation of the vegetable oils. Vegetable oils are long-chain unsaturated compounds. They undergo the addition reaction with hydrogen in the presence of nickel or palladium to form the vegetable ghee that are saturated compounds. Let us now get back to the reaction of methane with chlorine. Here, yeah? chlorine atoms replace or substitute the hydrogen atoms of methane. Since the reaction involves the substitution of hydrogen atoms with other atoms, it is known as the substitution reaction. Methane is not the only saturated compound that undergoes the substitution reaction. Many other saturated carbon compounds undergo the substitution reaction under suitable conditions. Since saturated carbon compounds are fairly unreactive, therefore, their substitution reactions take place in the presence of sunlight. Let's recap. The reactions that involve the addition of new atoms to unsaturated carbon compounds are called the addition reactions. Hydrogenation of a vegetable oil to form vegetable ghee is an example of addition reactions. Addition reactions of carbon compounds take place in the presence of catalysts, a substance that does not itself undergo any permanent change during a reaction but increases the rate of the reaction is known as a catalyst. The reactions that involve the substitution of hydrogen atoms of saturated carbon compounds with other atoms or groups of atoms are known as substitution reactions. 
substitution reactions of many saturated carbon compounds take place in the presence of sunlight.